came to play. This Caltrans I mean, worker I mean, is being called a hero after saving a baby's just, life. An emotional cry for help turned into a life-saving event Monday when Joe Thomas breathed life back into the body of a lifeless baby on the side of the freeway. New at 5 o'clock, 10 News reporter Allison Ash is in Chula Vista with his dramatic story and why he is still waiting for the final chapter. This Caltrans maintenance yard in Chula Vista is buzzing with talk about one of their own. In a matter of minutes, Monday afternoon, Joe Thomas went from being a road maintenance worker to being a hero. He was lifeless. He was blue and uh, wasn't breathing and he was very cold. 18-year veteran Caltrans worker Joe Thomas has seen lots of things on the highway, but nothing like what he saw Monday afternoon near this call box on the side of a freeway on-ramp. This 10 News virtual view shows Thomas driving northbound on the 5 when he decided to bypass his usual exit at E Street. He instead continued on, taking the eastbound 54 ramp. That's when he was flagged down by two women who were pulled over on the side of the freeway. I saw these two ladies screaming and yelling on the side of the road, and uh, they had a child, and the child wasn't moving. Thomas, who usually fixes roads, not children, knew what to do. I held him with one arm and I was patting his back. I was patting his back and I flipped him over and I, I, I used my two fingers and I started pressing his, his chest right underneath his, uh, his ribs and I kept on doing that. And he didn't give up. And he started breathing. By then, paramedics arrived and took the baby boy to Children's Hospital. Now Joe's co-workers are in awe. Man, he, he did it, you know. He surprised us all. He, he just happened to be there at the right time and saved the child's life. I was very moved the fact that he had saved the baby's life. Joe Thomas is having a hard time thinking of himself as a hero, but around here, that's exactly what he is. Thomas tells me he has four kids of his own, and now his main concern is finding out the condition of that little boy. We're working on that, and when we know, we'll be sure to pass it along to you. In Chula Vista, Allison Ash, 10 News.